I open up our One Choice for Frogs website and the first thing I want to do is grab the color of our background header. I'm clicking on variables and locating the variable called header background color. When I find this variable, I see a six digit set of numbers and this is called a hex number. I'm going to copy that hex code now and click update. If you don't see a six digit set of numbers here, you may need to change your settings. So go ahead and click on the red arrow to go in advanced menu and click controls. And we're going to look to change our settings for the color code input and change that to hex. Click update and go ahead and grab that code now. All right, click file and new in Photoshop elements to create a new file. And ours is going to be 780 by 150. We want to keep our height size between 150 and 250 pixels because otherwise we might affect our search engine rankings. Now we have a white background, but we want to make that the green color that we had in our header. So we're going to click on the paint button tool and then we're going to click on our color to change it. And at the very bottom, we're going to paste in that green color hex number. Click OK and use your mouse to just click on the white background. That changes it to the green. Perfect. Now we have the background color that we want to use that matches our Yahoo store. But we got to add some text now. So we're going to click on our text tool and we're actually going to type out the name of our store. Now this is where we get into the fun stuff of actually <laughs> creating our logo. So I'm going to type out one choice for frogs. This looks okay, but we can do so much better. Let's go ahead and highlight one choice for frogs and let's head up to the very top here where our fonts are and let's use the arrow keys on our keyboard to move up and down and go through the fonts that are installed on our computer. Now don't forget with your kit you got lots of new fonts okay and you got fun fonts to choose from but you also have elegant fonts and business fonts and you know type of retro fonts. Um, these different fonts will help you to portray the look and feel of the website that you want to portray to your customers okay so we went ahead and chose this font for our website it's fun and that's what one choice for frogs is all about a fun website so using our move tool we move it over to the left hand side and also we want to make this a little bit bigger okay so we're going to drag that over click the green check mark and that is perfect now, let's play around with layer styles. That white font, white text is just boring. All right, so we click on a layer style and click apply. That pink didn't look too good. So we clicked undo and we try other layer styles. And we can just keep trying a different layer styles until we find the one that we like and the one that we want to use in our store. But as I'm going through these, I'm realizing that you know, with that background header color, I'm not really liking my options here. However, I do kind of like the blue. I'm liking the blue because, you know, the frogs, they hang out in water. And I'm thinking, you know what? If we do a blue for our website, we can actually just change all the colors in our variables to match a blue logo. So let's give this some more thought. We're not stuck with that green background. If we're going through the different layer styles and we find a different type of layer style and a different color we absolutely love, we can just go in and change things. So let's try out this layer style. Now that looks like water. That looks like fun. And that's the type of look we want to portray. So now that we have it just perfect, we want to change that background to white again. So this way we can add it to our website and we can just change the entire look of our Yahoo store and use this blue that looks just perfect and is really going to portray a fun look for our website. All right, so we've got it sized, we've got it moved. Let's change that green background back to white.
Okay, so let's go over to our tools menu on the left hand side, click on the green and choose the white color in the far left corner and click OK. And go to our paint bucket tool on the left. Use our mouse, click in the background. Perfect. Now what we need to do is crop our image so that way we can put it the perfect size to upload and put into our Yahoo store. So we're going to go back over to the left hand side of our menu and choose the crop tool. Now using your mouse, oh, there we go, using your mouse, drag it over the image and make sure that you don't cut off any of your shading or any of your letters. And when you're done, click the green check mark. Perfect. All right, click File, Save for the Web, and you can see on the left-hand side the original image, the right-hand side what the new image will look like. Click OK, Save, and you're done. You've got a new logo for your store.